Tadang! Hello, everyone. Today, Angita and me are ready to talk about 20th century literature up to the contemporary period. Hey, this will be the last video on British literature, the last session. And Angita, tomorrow, let us do a revision of British literature and new questions. Okay. Uh, not a lot of questions for revision, but at least some. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, what I think that's least? a nice idea. Yes. yes. All right. So, dear, 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 dear friends, here I'm sharing my screen. Net study plan, day seven. Post-war to contemporary British literature. Wow. These are very... Contemporary authors, and I love this period. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of new things we are saying today. Ankita, are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited about especially World War II and Holocaust. I think these two ideas really interest me a lot. So I'm really excited about that. <laughs> tin, tin, me and Ankita are excited about almost everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a big question. Listen, guys, World War II was one of the most disastrous events witnessed in the history of mankind. Which among the following is not one of the after effects of the war? Which of the following is not an after effect? A growing sense of alienation and isolation in man. Yes, that is an effect. Fear of nuclear destruction and loss of belief in higher values. Yes, that's also true, right? post-World War era, saw a massive democratization of art and culture through a rapid progress in mass media and technology. Democratization of art and culture, that means after the Second World War, art and culture became democratic because of mass media and technology. Are all this is right, isn't it? Do you think all are true, Ankita? I think all these options are true only. Oh, the Second World War with aerial bombing, all the aircrafts going above us. Oh, it was such a horrible thing, guys. Second World War, lucky that we were born after it. I don't know how people in war-torn regions live. It's so, so bad. There should be no war on Earth. Oh, so bad, this Holocaust was the planned genocide of millions of European Jews by the Nazis in the name of racial superiority and ethnic cleansing, which shook the world. Today, you know that there are also people who say there was no Holocaust. There are neo-Nazis also. Anyway, who among the following said to write poetry after Auschwitz is barbarism? This was a man who was associated with Marxism. Is it J.G. Ballard, Theodore Adorno, Dylan Thomas, or George Orwell? J.G. Ballard wrote very dystopian novels. Theodore Adorno was a Frankfurt School theorist. Dylan Thomas also had uh, uh, written about politics and all. George Orwell too. Which of them had communist... Marxist leanings and also criticize Marxism. Ankita, tell us. Uh, so if we think about Marxism and also, I think it was Adorno. Theodore Adorno said, to write poetry after Auschwitz is barbarism. Adorno and Horkheimer were Frankfurt School theorists. This romantic group of poets, you have the picture of one of them here. They revolted against the classicism of the Auden group, the 1930s Auden group. This man came in 1940s. Who among the following is not one of them? Dylan Thomas, I think that is the guy in the picture. Philip O'Connor, George Barker, Philip Larkin. Which of the following was not one of this romantic group of poets? I know they were called neo-romantics. And they were also called uh, the new apocalypse movement. Ankita, who was not a part of New Apocalypse Movement? Uh, 
I think it was Philip Larkin who was not a part of that group. Philip Larkin was a movement poet. The movement movement poets poet. came to prominence in the 1950s. 50s. That's right. This is Philip Larkin. Right. Uh, Philip Larkin was not romantic at all. He was he had a classical style. Identify the wrong statement about Dylan Thomas. Deaths and Entrances was a popular poetry collection by Thomas. He was the pioneer of the gay liberation movement in the post-war period. He revived the Celtic bardic tradition in poetry. His poetic style was characterized by emotional intensity and romantic sensibility towards nature. Do you know, Ankita? I think uh, this uh, statement that he was the pioneer of the gay liberation movement, I don't think it's true. It's wrong, yes. I think. Uh, there was a poet in the 30s, in the 30s poets, there was huh. a poet uh, who was a pioneer of the gay liberation movement. Do you know? It was uh, Christopher Isherwood. I guess so. I think it was Christopher Isherwood who pioneered gay liberation movement. Right. So maybe the, the, that is the correct, I mean, the wrong statement. Deaths and Entrances is a popular poetic collection by um, Dylan Thomas. And also there is a Celtic bardic tradition that he revived. Then uh, poetic style was characterized by emotional intensity. After all, he was a neo-romantic. That is right. Uh, Christopher Isherwood, now that you said it, was the pioneer of gay liberation. And he um, also wrote about Vedanta. Aldous Huxley and Christopher Isherwood were friends. And uh, in the 1970s, uh, gay liberation was the movement for truth to oneself. You know, be true to oneself, that idea. Great. Now, as I was young and easy under the apple boughs, about the lilting house and happy as the grass was green, these are the opening lines of is it Fern Hill? It is by Dylan Thomas. But which poem? Is it Fern Hill? Do not go gentle into the good night under Milkwood or the map of love. The map of love, I think, was a sh uh, was not even poetry. Under Milkwood was a play. A radio play. Which of these is the answer? You two babies, your choice. Yes, they know it. Let me check them out. Yes, it is Fern Hill. That is right, everyone. Fern Hill begins with these lines. And he's talking about his uh, youthful life in his aunt's farm. He had gone to his aunt's farm as a child. And he's talking about it here. Very good. Now, church going, I remember, I remember deceptions. These poems are by Philip Larkin. And tell me, guys, um, which collection are they from? Which collection are they from? Is it North Ship, The Less Deceived, High Windows, or The Whitson Weddings? Do you know, everyone? Tell me, guys. All are by Philip Larkin. Which of these is... The book that contains church going. Ankita, your choice. So I will guess wildly. And I think it's The Less Deceived. The Less Deceived is uh, based on, the title is based on ha o o o Ophelia. Othello. Hamlet. O Othello. O Hamlet, Hamlet, yeah, Hamlet. O Ophelia, I think, yeah. Everybody is saying high windows, guys. Some are saying north ship. Rini is saying less deceived. Many are saying less deceived. It is the answer, I think. Yes. The less deceived is by uh, Philip Larkin. All these are by Philip Larkin. Very good. The Man with Night Sweats <clears throat> is a collection of AIDS-related elegies. Who wrote it? Elizabeth Jennings, Tom Gunn, John Holloway, Donald Davy. Ankita, do you know? Uh, I think it was Tom Gunn. 
Tom Gunn, who wrote this collection of elegies. Tom Gunn, yes. He wrote a lot about masculinity and AIDS also. Mm -hmm. Tom Gunn wrote The Man with Night Sweats. He was a part of the movement. On the move, man, you got to go. That's a very famous poem by Tom Gunn prescribed in universities. Yes, Shweta is showing the picture of a green gun also. Very good. Donald Davy and Elizabeth Jennings are also part of the movement. Yes, yes, yes. Which poetry collection among the following is not by Ted Hughes? Ted Hughes is waiting for you to answer. The Hawk in the Rain, Lupercal, Crow and Jill. One of these is not even a poetry collection. Which is that, Angita? You two babies know. I think it was Jill because other <laughs> titles sound like Ted Hughes works. Yeah, Jill. <laughs> Jill does not sound like Ted Hughes according to Angita and she's right. Jill is a novel by whom? Philip Larkin. Jill and the Girl in Winter are novels by Philip Larkin. Yes, YouTube is busting with the correct answers. Hey, Grandpa, no smoking, okay? Smoking is injurious to health. Noel Covered, he is. And Terence Rattigan, they are famous for what? YouTubers, this is your take. Mark, are they famous for comedies of menace, theater of cruelty, drawing room comedies, or none of these? YouTubers, waiting for your answer. Noel Covered and Terence Rattigan. Momita has said it. It is. Shrabani also. It is. Drawing room comedies against Noel Covered and Terence Rattigan and their drawing room comedies came. Angry young man movement. Very good, very good, very good. That's right. Look at a scene from a drawing room comedy. See, set only in the drawing room. Angry young man showed even the ironing table. Who wrote Kitchen Sink drama, Ankita? Arnold Wesker. Arnold Wesker is correct. Then even John Osborne. John Osborne, yes. De Sheila Delaney. Sheila Delaney. Great, guys. Ankita. That's not all. Who wrote the essay, Kitchen Sink Realism? David Sylvester. This girl is amazing. That's right. It's David Sylvester. Identify the wrong statement about John Osborne's look back in anger. YouTubers, read carefully. Act 1 opens on a dismal April Sunday afternoon in Jimmy and Allison's crammed attic in the Midlands. Colonel Redfern is the Brother of Alison. Jimmy calls Alison Lady Pusillanimous. Jimmy and Alison play the game of a stuffed bear and a toy squirrel. Which of these is wrong? A, B, C, D. Everyone in YouTube, answer me. Which of these is wrong? YouTubers, you know, you said the correct answer. Colonel Redford is the father of Alison, not brother. But there is the mention of Alison's brother, Nigel. Jimmy is attacking Nigel. Do you remember that? Very good. Everyone, please read the plays original, okay? Original plays, you should read it. That is very important. When I tell you summaries and give you extra points, it is only to motivate you to read more. Which play among the following is not a part of Arnold Wesker trilogy? Chicken soup with barley, chips with everything, roots. I'm talking about Jerusalem. Ta -da -da. Which is the answer? Ankita? I think it was uh, chips with everything, which is not a part of this trilogy. Yes. Chicken soup with barley, roots, and I'm talking about Jerusalem are part of the Arnold Wesker trilogy. Very good. People are answering. I am proud of you all. Yes. Identify the correct statement about Samuel Beckett. <gasps> they are going to find out the truth about me. Look, Samuel Beckett is giving us. <laughs> Murphy is the first novel by Samuel Beckett. Ha, ya, na. Endgame is a one-act play by Beckett which talks about the complex relationship between ham and clove. Ha, ya, na. 
breath is a fragmentary play by him. In all his works, Beckett rejected realistic settings, logical reasoning, and a coherently evolving plot. Bolo, bolo, which is the answer? Is it all or true? So much reading to do. Bolo, bolo. They found out about me everything. Oh, Samuel Beckett is looking like that. <laughs> Tell me, Ankita. All this, I think, are true only. Yeah. Oh, Ankita, you said it. Look, Samuel <laughs> Beckett is giving us. Samuel Beckett's look is Ankita. Brave girl, you said the correct answer. <laughs> so did YouTubers. Samuel Beckett is going to YouTubers also. <laughs> now, identify the wrong statement. Uh, I myself don't know he's saying. <laughs> Look at the picture he's saying. Uh, I myself don't know. The birthday party was Pinter's first full-length play, which established his trademark comedy of menace in which a character is subtly threatened by the vague horrors at large in the outside world. Is that true? This play is centered on a retired professor, Stanley Weber. This play has an episode of a violent game of blind man's buff, where Stanley tries to rape Lulu, who often visits the boarding house. At the end of the play, Stanley is taken to Monty. Uh, what are they saying? I myself don't know. Stanley is saying. Bolo, Bolo. Who is the, which is the correct answer or wrong answer? Shweta thinks Stanley Weber did not get JRF, so he cannot be professor. Only Shweta got JRF. Eh? Stanley Weber can also get JRF. Why are you all saying B is wrong? Is it, is it B wrong, Ankita? Yeah, I think he was a retired musician. I am wrong. All of you are right. I thought all of you are saying only we get Jairav. He didn't get Jairav. So he can't be professor. Ayyo, I was wrong. <laughs> all right, dear friends. Next question. Which play among... Ayyo, what is he doing? This is a pram. <gasps> he is toning a baby in a pram. Which play is this? Which play has this brutal scene? YouTube is bursting with uh, uh, the previous question still. Now, come on. Next question. Agaya. <laughs> Bolo, is it the Pope's wedding? Saved, bingo, or the bundle? YouTubers have become very active. Hey, YouTubers, remember to like the play. And YouTubers, remember to share it with friends. Bring your friends to watch our video. Saved. Correct. Hey, Ankita, they said the correct answer. It is saved. Do you appreciate them, Ankita? Yes. Yes. <laughs> YouTubers are amazing. Mwah, YouTube babies. YouTube babies. Mwah, YouTube babies. Okay. Indian Ink. Deku, deku, two Indians are there. Indian Ink by Tom Stoppard is set in the background of Dash. Great Indian Mutiny. Gandhi's Dandi March. Partition of India, Quit India Movement. Can you tell me? Indian Ink, did you know? Tom Stoppard wrote Indian Ink. Whereas Tarun Tejpal's publisher is India Ink. Bolo, Bolo, Indian Ink. Ankita, your turn. I think it was set in the background of Gandhi's Dandi March. Dandi March, 1930. Ha, ha. That is the setting of Indian Ink by Tom Stoppard. Tell me, Ankita, what are the other works by Tom Stoppard? Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. Arcadis, then Travesties. Arcadia. Ar Arcadia, huh? Arcadia, Travesties, then... Have good. Uh, Walk have on good. the water. Yes. And you descending the staircase. Artist descending the staircase. Staircase. Jumpers. Jumpers. If you are frank, I will be frank. If you are, if you frank. are, I will be frank. Is the bad. If you are good, I will be frank. Huh. <laughs> then, then, uh, Lord Malquist and Mr. Moon. I remember. <laughs> you he know wrote how I remember? the 
he wrote uh, that uh, the script of that movie shakespeare in love right hai shakespeare in love he wrote good now this chilling dystopia was published in 1949 as a warning against totalitarianism oh my god why did i put this question here youtube is going to burst youtube owners and uh, their officials are going to contact me saying why are you asking such questions because students will answer now which work is this is it animal farm burmese 1984 burmese days are down and out in paris and london ayyo maine bola na everybody is saying bbb 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 1984 okay ankita who is the protagonist in 1984 it was winston smith stand and hang very good okay ankita ye bolo other works by orwell okay uh down and out in paris and london then a clergyman's daughter then the road to vegan pyre uh animal farm 1984 then he also wrote many essays like why i write english and the politics of language shooting an elephant then burmese days uh keep the aspidist of flying yeah. angida i know you have written all this on your ceiling right <laughs> no no i'm just looking at the fan <laughs> <laughs> i thought all this is written on your ceiling <laughs> Well, that's a good idea, guys. If you write all this on your ceiling, when you lie down to take your nap, you can study. <laughs> What do you think, Ankita? YouTube babies are also saying all the correct answers. Amazing! Proud of you all. <gasps> Who is this guy? Big this brother. Big brother. Yeah. Yeah. No, big brother. All right. Everybody knows this novel, isn't it? All these are true about Lord of the Flies, except it was Golding's first novel published in 1954. Correct, है क्या? Piggy says life is scientific. Away from the island, here the boys indulge. Away from the land, here the boys indulge in great scientific discoveries. <gasps> great scientific discoveries, क्या है? हमें पता है. At the end, Ralph, one of the boys, weeps, weeps. Sorry for the mistake. Weeps for the savageness that the boys actually showed, and also he weeps for their loss of innocence. Which of these is not correct? Of course, guys, I will say the correct answer. They that they indulged in scientific discoveries is wrong. That's wrong. Okay. So it was Golding's first novel. It was published in nineteen fifty four. Here, Piggy is always saying life is scientific, which Orwellian character says? Uh, 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 Napoleon is always right. And get down. I think it was Napoleon in Animal Farm. No, boxer, boxer. Boxer, boxer. Yeah. Napoleon is always right. Boxer, the horse says. Very good. <clears throat> set in a dismal dystopian england it is the first person account of a juvenile delinquent a young boy who is a criminal he undergoes state sponsored psychological rehabilitation for his aberrant behavior which work is this the name of the boy is alex youtubers your take is it All these are by Anthony Burgess. Is it time for a tiger, a clockwork orange, nothing like the sun, or Abba Abba? It is not Abba Abba. Abba Abba is by uh, Anthony Burgess, and it's about John Keats. Nothing like the sun is about Shakespeare. Time for a tiger is from Malayan trilogy. It is. Ankita, a Clockwork Orange, isn't it? Yeah. Clockwork Orange was a very famous movie. Do you have any idea, Ankita, who is the director of that movie? It was. Sorry, I'm stammering. Stanley Kubrick. Correct. Hey, Stanley Kubrick. Amazing. Alan Weaver, a writer, is a character in Dash. <gasps> What are they asking? They are asking about my book. Kingsley Amis is saying. <gasps> Lucky Jim, I like it here. The old devils. 
Do you know, in the book, this guy, Alan Weaver, drops dead. And I will give you a clue, everybody. This novel won Booker Prize. So, Ankita, which one is that? It was the old devils which got the Booker Prize. Yes, Shrabani said. Everybody said the old devils got the Booker Prize. It has Alan Lewis. Colin Smith is featured in which short story among the following? Colin Smith is a long... I was going to say something I won't say. Hurry on down, young shoulders, the loneliness of the long distance runner, Saturday night and Sunday morning. Bolo, bolo. Ankita. The loneliness of the long distance runner. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, Colin Smith is a long distance runner. <laughs> okay. What is the name of this uh, Borstel where he is? Living. Yay! Angita doesn't know this. Ruxton, Ruxton Towers. Ruxton Towers. All right. Great. And what does he do at the end? Does he win the race? No, he uh, voluntarily loses the race. That is right. A very good. Ting ting. Loneliness of the long distance runner. Memento mori is a Latin phrase meaning. Remember, you will die. Who wrote the novel by the same name? Memento Mori. In an old age home, people are getting this phone call. Bolo. Anakamachi, do you know? Rakshatsa, do you know? <laughs> it is Ankita. Mew, Bolo, Mew. Furious Spark. <laughs> <laughs> she is writing her next novel lying there. <laughs> what is the first novel by Muriel Spark? It was... Um, um, uh, the Comforters. Uh, the Comforters. After, after that, he, she wrote about a volcanic island. Mm. Bolo. Uh, <laughs> I'll shoot you if you don't say it sounds like Robinson Crusoe. Robinson, Robinson, Robinson. Yes, First is Comforters. Dystopian novel, yeah. Then Robinson, Memento Mori, Ballad of Peckham Rye, Prime of Miss Jean Broody, Girls of Slender Means, The Mandelbaum Gate, The Public Image, The Driver's Seat, The Takeover, Loitering with intent. Far cry from Kensington. <laughs> then uh, aiding and abetting. Uh, some I missed out, I think. Finishing school. You are wondering how I am remembering all this. Because in our classes, we have codes for all this. We study some codes to remember all this. If my students in YouTube who are listening to me now have forgotten, I will shoot you. Okay. Iris Murdoch got the Booker Prize for Dash. Is it under the net, a severe head, the sea, the sea, the black prince? Bolo Ankita, Booker Prize. I think it was the sea, the sea. Very good. The sea, the sea. Who got Booker Prize for the sea? Single. The ha huh, I didn't I know ah uh, it was John you, uh, John John if you don't answer I will ban you from this YouTube live I will I ban I will ban it is I, John Banville John Banville yeah John Banville. <laughs> John Banville wrote The Sea. Iris Murdoch wrote The Sea, The Sea. Under the Net is her first novel. Flight from the Enchanter, The Sand Castle, The Bell, A Severed Head, The Unicorn, uh, Nice and Good, uh, Red and the Green. Then, um, what other novels are there? Uh, Philosopher's Pupil. Did you know, Ankita, 
Iris Murdoch wrote a lot of philosophy in her works. Yes. That is right. The sea, the sea. Who, what is this? Who among the following has written psychological or inner space fiction? Uh. Photo lagati. Why did you put this? I'm asking my team. <laughs> Who wrote psychological fiction or inner space fiction? <laughs> they will remember this psychological fiction. <laughs> Is it A.S. by Angela Carter, Angela McCrobbie or Doris Lessing? Lessing, again they are saying. In, uh, Doris Lessing. Ankita, other works by Lessing. The Grass is Singing. A Correct. Children of Violence. A Children of Violence. Then, uh, the Golden Notebook. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Very good. Now, who among the following has written psychological or inner space fiction? Doris Lessing, she got the Nobel Prize, remember. They go, golden notebook is in her hands. Which work by Doris Lessing was hailed as a feminist Bible and also condemned as castrating? Is it the grass is singing? Is it memoirs of a survivor? Is it the golden notebook or is it under my skin? Ankita, feminist Bible. Yeah, I think it can only be the Golden Notebook. That's right. And Yebolo, who is the protagonist in Golden Notebook? Anna Wolf. Anna Wolf. Right. What are the four differently colored notebooks? Did you know, Ankita? Q Shop has brought out notebooks of nah. five colors. Yes. Black, red, yellow, blue and golden. Yes. And the, huh, the color of the notebooks are blue, red. Black, red, yellow, blue. In black, that order. Black, red, yellow, blue. Huh? You two babies, you should buy our golden notebooks, right? Series set is there. Black, red, yellow, blue and golden. Five amazing notebooks. <laughs> now, the grass is singing is set where, Ankita? Where is it set? It's set in Rhodesia. What is the new name of Rhodesia? <laughs> Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. <laughs> Can you name one writer from Zimbabwe? Yeah. Ayakwe Arma? No, that is Ghana. Ghana. Zimbabwe. Sitsi Dangaramga. Sitsi Dangaramga. And no Violet Bulawayo. Yes. Which among the following is a Victorian style romance set in Lyme Regis in Dorset? Is it the collector, the Magus, Magnus Nahi Magus, the French lieutenant's woman or the Ebony Tower? Set in Lyme Regis. Lyme Regis is a fossil town. There Charles Smithson is coming and meeting. He's coming with Ernestina and meeting. Uh, who? Meeting um, Sarah Woodruff. Yeah, Bolo. Which novel? The French Lieutenant's Woman. That is a famous movie also. Sarah Woodruff. She's a rebellious Victorian woman who is deliberately living like a fallen woman, but she's not a fallen woman, actually. Th that is the story, okay? Now, Possession of Romance is a 1990 best-selling novel by A.S. Byatt, the sister of Margaret Drabble. It won 1990 Booker Prize for Fiction. Is it true, guys? Is it true, Ankita? Yeah, I think it's true. Correct. Ankita, do you know who painted this famous cover page, cover picture of Possession? Uh, was it Margaret Drabble? No, it is a pre-Raphaelite painting by Edward oh. Burne Jones. Okay. It's a pre-Raphaelite painting. Okay. That, that's the famous cover page of Possession. Melanie is the heroine in Dash. She's enacting as Leda. Raped by the swan. That is why that picture. Is it Magic Toy Shop? The Passion of New Eve? Wise Children or None of the Above? YouTubers, your take. 
YouTubers are answering everything correctly. Melanie is the heroine in which work? Please tell us, everybody. I am proud of you all. It is. Ankita, do you know? Uh, the Magic Toy Shop by Angela Carter. Correct. The Magic Toy Shop by Angela Carter. Great. Who wrote the comic fantasy Disc World series depicting a world balanced on four world elephants? Or oh, standing on a turtle. Is it J.K. Rowling, Terry Pratchett, V.S. Nepal or Salman Rushdie? That is the last question. It should be taken by our YouTube babies. I am waiting for YouTube babies' answers. J.K. Rowling or Terry Pratchett, who wrote Disc World series? Turtle and four elephants. Come on. That is such a fantasy, isn't it? YouTubers, tell me. Ankita, your turn. I think it's Terry Pratchett. That is right. Terry Pratchett wrote the Disc World series. He's a contemporary writer. Will you remember everyone? Thank you so much for answering so many questions correctly. I'm so immensely proud of you. You can go on studying like this in an amazing way. And you can win all the uh, great marks and ranks and everything in the exams. And you will have a great, great, great career. Don't worry if you did not get some questions right. That is fine. You don't have to be always right. Ankita, thank you so much for your amazing participation. Your presence makes it different in every way. Thank you so much. So that's bye-bye. I'm signing off. Good night. Ankita. Bye. <laughs> Love you all. God bless you. We'll be back tomorrow with a revision and a new topic.